never seen you before. But <laughs> anyway, good to have you here in the house of the Lord. Uh, we inherited uh, the church down in Prescott, the Harvest Church. Tim's been working there for a year or more and helping there. And so this church has inherited that church. Um, they've come up with a new name and uh, they put a committee together and uh, they come up with a new name so it's going to be called The everybody say The The Door and then the subtitle under it is going to be Dare everybody say Dare Dare to, to dream. Dream. dream it's going to be used for multiple purposes it's going to be an outreach that would be set up as a, as a church per se. Anyone that's reached there, we will, we will draw them or bring them to this house. Amen. To receive the word of God. But there's going to be a, a lot of things that are going to transpire and happen. There's going to be youth events, senior events, and all kinds of training things. We might even get Bud to, and we'll advertise a little bit, teach first aid. And uh, just different things like that to try to draw from the community and in the community and to help that community of Prescott and surrounding areas. So uh, we definitely need a little support. And as we go down the road, there will probably be some different things that we can do uh, to raise some money. Maybe um, we could compete against one another and do hoodies and hats. <laughs> and, uh, but uh, anyway, what we would like to do tonight, anybody that can, now we do not want to take away from this church. We've got a lot of things happening here. Uh, building fund happening, a lot of events taking place. We don't want you to cut your tithe here. We don't want you to cut your building fund or your offerings to this house. It needs to happen. But if you can, we're asking for a $10 a month donation for a year. Then we'll come back at the end of the year. We'll do it again to support, to cover the cost, the basic costs of this building in Prescott. And so we need about 60 people that would give $10 that would break us about even uh, for this time. Now, if you can give more, it would certainly be appreciated. And if you can't give $10 a month, then give what you can. And we've got a little commitment card. Brother Doug's heading all this up. He's the chairman. We'll let him come and, and uh, pass these out. He says he's unique. He's in his uh, cable clothes. <laughs> This, this is the case for you ladies that are here. This is the cable man. <laughs> no, not the movie star cable man. <laughs> I'll just tell y'all. 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 You know they make movies about guys like that. But it's not all that. <laughs> but it is a lot of redneck. <laughs> Hey, so if, if you would like to take a payment card, if you want to fill it up tonight, it'd certainly be great. But if you want to pray over it, then take it, pray over it, and bring it back. And uh, so while he's doing that, Tim, we, we appreciate all the work that Tim has done in setting all this up and continuing to go forward. And uh, I believe Pastor Robert and uh, Brother Doug was down, signed over an account. I don't know who all else helped. Megan's going to be involved a lot. I don't know how much I've started, but I know now she's going to get involved pretty heavily. And uh, uh, we're certainly uh, asking people to help. Uh, Shirley and Orland, they've been put on the committee to do certain things. Aiden and I are on it. Um, Tim and Megan's on it. Doug and Mark and Liz. And so... If you got any ideas, come to us. We'll be asking some of you to get involved and to do different things for sure. You may be seated. And if you fill that up tonight, make sure to just bring it back and, and throw it in the offering bucket. How would that be? That'd be all right? Down toward the end. I'll try not to keep this too long. And uh, some people have been wondering what to call.